Michael Schumacher claim made by Alfa Romeo chief after son Mick F1 testing Zinder, a legend in the Sauber team which reformed to Alfa Romeo this year, remembers Michael Schumacher from when the German represented his side in Le Mans sports cars. Schumacher is the all-time driver's championship record holder with seven titles. And there are big hopes for his son, who made his F1 debut this week while testing for Ferrari and Alfa Romeo in Bahrain. Mick Schumacher is competing in F2 this season after winning the F3 championship in 2018. The 20-year-old is expected to follow in his father's footsteps by making the move up to F1 over the coming years. But Zinder has refused to pick out any similarities between the father and son. I can't compare them, he told Blick. But Mick is already very structured and precise. The kid deserves these two test days. Already at his first Formula 2 race here, he proved that he understands the now very important tire management. Schumacher was the second fastest during Ferrari practice on Tuesday. And Sebastian Vettel, who took the seat on Wednesday was impressed with his junior teammate. He was unlucky with the weather, but he did a good job, Vettel said. I think he had a lot of fun, which you could see from the grin on his face, and that's the most important thing. Vettel returns to F1 action at the Chinese Grand Prix next weekend. Next news Sebastian Vettel summoned to stewards in Bahrain after being beaten by Charles Leclerc. Sebastian Vettel was beaten to pole position for Sunday's Bahrain Grand Prix by his 21-year-old teammate, Charles Leclerc. However, the German will end the day happy after narrowly escaping further embarrassment in the form of a punishment from officials. Vettel was summoned by stewards after the session after they suspected that he has broken safety car rules. The four-time world champion was reportedly below the minimum time required between safety car lines. However, the German hit back with claims that his front tires were hit with heavy flat spotting, which later proved to be true. Former F1 world champion Nico Rosberg had his say on Vettel's failure to post a quicker time that his teammate in qualifying, and suggested that the senior driver would have been far from happy. He said on Sky Sports, Leclerc has had a perfect session so far so it's looking very good for him. He's the favorite for pole. Vettel would be very angry in his crash helmet. Youngster Leclerc was over the moon with his performance, and could win a Grand Prix for the first time ever on Sunday. Thanks guys, he said over team radio. The car is amazing. I will try to finish the job tomorrow. Lewis Hamilton, who finished third on Saturday, is confident that Mercedes can challenge Ferrari. Ferrari have been incredibly quick, he said. Well done to Charles. They have shown incredible pace but that doesn't mean they can't be beaten. Next news Lewis Hamilton warns Charles Leclerc and Sebastian Vettel after Bahrain qualifying. Leclerc took his first ever pole position in the sport, beating his much more experienced teammate. Vettel couldn't live with the 21 year old who was the one man to dip into the 1 minute 27 seconds range. But world champion Hamilton says Mercedes are ready to fight them throughout the race tomorrow. He said, I really enjoyed qualifying and great to see the progression for us over the weekend. The Ferraris were very quick and congratulations to Charles. Tomorrow is the important day and we will give them a great fight. We are going to work at it and keep our heads down and see what happens. And the world champion was quick to give his congratulations to Leclerc. He said, well done to Charles. Leclerc was delighted with his first ever pole position in Bahrain. But he was focused and realized he had only done half the job he needs to do. 
He said, tomorrow is the race where we score points but today is a good beginning I will try to finish the job tomorrow. Vettel was unhappy with his qualifying performance though. He explained, maybe I was a bit shy in the second sector, Charles did a very good job today and deserves to be on pole, it puts us in a great place for tomorrow. The main thing is we got the job done. The Bahrain Grand Prix takes place at 4.10 pm UK time tomorrow afternoon. Next news Max Verstappen, why Verstappen and Pierre Gasly rivalry could erupt at Red Bull. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has warned other drivers of S competitive nature. Speaking on Netflix's new F1 documentary Drive to Survive, Horner feels the Dutch driver showed last season that he has the right character to succeed in the sport. Max, he's one of the hardest racers out there, Horner said. He shows no fear. He gives no quarter. He added, I think what he showed, in 2018, more than anything was his strength of character, which, in this business, is everything. Verstappen himself already has sights on a certain target in the near future. He said, the aim is to become world champion and of course, sooner than later. The 21-year-old was often battling with Daniel Ricciardo for the no one spot at Red Bull but there is now no doubt about who the leading man is after the Australian departed for Renault. Gasly, who left Toro Rosso to join Red Bull, believes racing alongside Verstappen will help him raise him game this season. He said, I think Max at the moment, based on the performance he showed last year, it's difficult. You know, to compare with Lewis, Hamilton, or Seb, Vettel, but he's clearly one of the best and most talented guys in the paddock at the moment. So for me it's perfect to have a reference like him. I'm sure it's going to be useful for myself to keep learning in Formula 1 and achieve a better performance for myself. I always find it good to have a fast teammate because that's how you manage to extract the best of yourself as well. However, there could be a rivalry brewing between the pair as Gasly isn't prepared to sit back and watch Verstappen soak up all the glory. He said, I will take the time I need to be competitive, but I'm not going to be there to be second driver, that's not what I want and not going to be satisfied with that. If I have the car to win then that's what I would love to do. And if I have a car which is only good for top 5, then that's going to be the target. But at the end of the day it was only my full first season in Formula 1, in 2018, and for sure I'm going to get better and better, season after season because experience plays quite a big part. So I know that I didn't reach my full potential. But that's my only motivation and I'm fully dedicated to do everything I can to reach my best level as soon as possible. Next news Bahrain Grand Prix, Christian Horner reveals which F1 team David Beckham is supporting. The pair have a link as they are both married to Spice Girls, with Horner partnering Ginger Spice and Beckham with Posh Spice. And they got together prior to the Bahrain Grand Prix this morning. Beckham spent time in the Red Bull garage and also walked the starting grid as the drivers were stepping into their cars. Harner was asked about his relationship with Beckham and if he was there to offer support. But the Manchester United legend was not cheering on any particular side. He is here supporting everyone I believe, Harner said. Hopefully we can have a good race tonight. Max Verstappen started in fifth place for Red Bull. And Horner was confident his driver could close in on the Ferraris and Mercedes in front. Max has really good long run pace but this wind could really change things, Horner added. I don't think you have to tell him too much. He is a born racer and just wants to get stuck in. He has nothing to lose. We were too slow yesterday but the race pace looked good on Friday. Meanwhile, 
Mercedes boss Toto Wolff was not confident in his side winning the race. I am a bit skeptical that it is enough here, he said. Bahrain was never the track where we outperformed everybody else. For Charles Leclerc, it is really good to have the young man on pole position. He deserves it, he is super fast and he deserves it. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.